Hi, I'm Russell from Russell James Designs. Today we're going to be making this cool big splash water effect in Photoshop CS6 using brushes and filters. Let's get started. Here's my blue background, but you can use any blue background for this effect. So let's generate a new layer. Layer layer. We won't name it right now because we're not ready for that layer yet. Now we want to create our brush style that we're going to be using for this effect. So we'll go to our brushes. I already have it set but I'll just show you the settings. So we'll go to... Okay so for brush presets you want to make sure you're on scatter spatter 27 megapixels and for our shape dynamics you want the size jitter to be a hundred percent you want control off you only have control on pen pressure if you're using a tablet scattering you want both axes turned on and the the jitter the scatter at 350 percent and that's all we need for our brushes make sure your foreground and background is from white to black make sure you're on layer one and then just start painting in with your brush so something like this try to be as accurate as possible though And then we'll just make this bigger, like so. Now we want to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. But first, we want, before we even do that, you want to make sure this layer is locked. So it's only affecting the pixels of the white explosion. You don't don't want it affecting the background. So we'll go to filter, I render, clouds. Now we'll just keep, keep clicking command F to reply the filter until you get an even distribution of black or gray to white. So there, that's exactly where I want it. Now we'll go to filter and then first we'll convert to smart filters. Filter gallery and the first we want to make sure we're on artistic go up to here and we want to find plastic wrap and we want the highlight strength to be 20 the detail be to be 10 and smoothness to be 15 then we want to go to filter again filter gallery once again now we want to pick chrome Chrome, 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 it's here somewhere. Chrome. And want the detail to be 0 and the smoothness to be 10. Now we'll go to Edit, Fade Filter. Make sure opacity is 100% and the blend mode is on overlay. Click OK. Now we're ready to transform this into our effect. So we'll go to Transform warp then you want the second bar from the top you drag that down like this and as you can see it's looking like our big splash and you want to drag these out something like that just to make it more or to look more like a splash then we'll maybe drag these out just a bit so something like that. Okay, now we'll transform this to make it a bit bigger, like this. Now, we want to change the blend mode of the splash layer to hard light. So then, 
that layer blends into the background layer creating our water. Now we want to get our lasso tool and we want to cut right where the edge is. Cut this in half. So get your lasso tool and try to get as close as to the edge as you can. Like this and then now we'll go to layer, new layer, via cut. Now as you can see, it's two separate layers. So we'll name this one bottom splash. I'll name this one top splash. Then we'll drag the top splash up to the top. We'll hide that and now what we want to do is kind of make the water line for our big splash so we'll go to the smudge tool make sure you're on the bottom layer and then just just quickly smudge this like this as you can see it's making the, the sponge, smudge it's making the water line so do something like something like that that's pretty good then we'll turn this on now we'll turn on our apple and then we'll drag our apple to there. Then we'll put our apple in there. Now, with your bottom splash selected, layer selected, we'll go to liquify. Now we'll shape the, like it's fine the way it is. If you like it that way, then, then leave it like that. But to make it more realistic, we're going to shape the bottom part of the splash to fit to the apple. So we want to show image, show backdrop, we want this to be apple, and now we'll use the liquify tool to shape this. Now you can be as accurate as you want, but I'm just going to do this fast. better but that's ah, okay <sighs> like I you can do make it neater than this but for now it's okay. Something like that should be good for now. Just bring this in just a bit. Just a bit. There. Click OK to that. And there you have it. <clears throat> Your the big splash effect. Now there's another effect you can add to this to make it like look like it's in motion. You can do anything you want with this. You can use this for an advertisement or anything. I hope you like this tutorial tutorial and I hope you learned something new today. Comment on this video and tell me what you guys think. See you guys later.